In the vast and enigmatic cosmos, there are numerous mysteries that challenge our understanding. One of the most intriguing in recent years has been the concept of Planet Nine, a theoretical celestial body believed to be lurking at the edge of the solar system. However, according to a report by the BBC, physicists Jacob Schultz and James Unwin have proposed a radical and fascinating theory. Planet Nine is not a planet at all, but a primordial black hole the size of a bowling ball. The concept of Planet Nine was first proposed in 2016 by astronomers Constantine Betigan and Michael Brown from the California Institute of Technology. The existence of this hypothetical planet was suggested to explain certain anomalies in the orbits of objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune. The orbits of these objects seemed to be perturbed by the gravity of an unseen massive object, which was calculated to have a mass approximately 10 times that of Earth. Now, the Kuiper Belt is a region of space containing a multitude of small, icy bodies, including dwarf planets like Pluto. The observed anomalies in the orbits of these objects suggest the presence of a significant gravitational influence. According to Betigan and Brown, Planet Nine would have an extremely elliptical orbit, taking between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Schultz and Unwin took this idea a step further. They published a paper suggesting that these orbital perturbations could be caused not by a planet, but by a primordial black hole. Primordial black holes are a fascinating hypothesis. They are believed to have formed in the early universe, moments after the Big Bang, due to extremely high density fluctuations. Nah. Unlike black holes that form from the collapse of massive stars, primordial black holes do not originate from stars. Instead, they are thought to have arisen from the extreme conditions of the early universe when extremely high energy densities and quantum fluctuations could have produced regions of space that collapsed into black holes. These primordial black holes can have a wide range of masses, from very small to extremely large. What makes this theory especially intriguing is the size Schultz and Unwin attribute to this black hole. They propose that this primordial black hole would be comparable in size to a bowling ball, yet with a mass equivalent to 10 Earths. The density of such an object is almost unimaginable, a cubic centimeter of material from this black hole would weigh billions of tons. To put this in perspective, the mass of Earth is approximately 5.97 x 10 circumflex 24 kilograms, a primordial black hole with 10 times this mass, but the size of a bowling ball would have an incredibly high density. This extreme density is what allows such a small object to exert a significant gravitational force, enough to influence the orbits of objects in the Kuiper Belt. The primary reason for considering a primordial black hole instead of a planet is the gravitational evidence. The perturbations in the orbits of the objects in the Kuiper Belt cannot be easily explained by known planets alone. A small but massive object like a primordial black hole could cause the same gravitational effects without being visible in current optical telescopes. Betigan and Brown's studies indicated that the Kuiper Belt objects exhibited a peculiar alignment in their orbits suggesting the influence of a distant, massive body. This gravitational evidence is crucial, as it indicates the presence of something affecting these objects' orbits consistently and predictably. Schultz and Unwin argue that a primordial black hole could be responsible for these perturbations, as its immense gravity would be sufficient to explain the observed movements. Schultz and Unwin have used computer simulations to model how a primordial black hole could influence objects in the Kuiper Belt. These simulations show that a massive and compact object could create the same orbital perturbations observed, reinforcing the plausibility of their theory. However, these simulations are not conclusive proof. They merely offer a theoretical framework that fits the observational data. Simulations allow scientists to recreate the conditions of the solar system and observe how different massive objects would influence Kuiper belt bodies. By adjusting the mass and location parameters of a theoretical object, such as a primordial black hole, Researchers can see how the orbits of Kuiper Belt objects would change. The simulations that best match actual observations strengthen the idea that a compact, massive object could be causing the anomalies. Detecting a primordial black hole the size of a bowling ball presents enormous challenges. Unlike planets, which reflect sunlight, black holes do not emit light and can only be detected indirectly through their gravitational effects. Additionally, due to its small size, this primordial black hole would be extremely difficult to locate, even with the most advanced telescopes. Black holes do not interact with light in the same way as normal objects, making them invisible in the optical spectrum. This means we cannot simply point a telescope at the sky and expect to see a black hole. 
Instead, we must look for indirect effects, such as gravitational impact on other objects. Detecting these effects requires precise observations and detailed analysis of orbital movements in the solar system. To test this theory, astronomers and physicists are exploring several strategies. One possibility is to look for gravitational microlensing effects, where the primordial black hole would pass in front of a distant star and its gravity would bend the star's light, creating a lensing effect. This phenomenon could provide direct evidence of the existence of a primordial black hole. Gravitational microlensing occurs when a massive object passes between an observer and a distant light source, like a star. The gravity of the massive object bends the star's light, amplifying it and creating a lensing effect. This effect can be detected by sensitive telescopes and is one of the few direct ways to detect massive objects that do not emit light, like black holes. Another possibility is to use gamma-ray telescopes to detect radiation emitted by matter falling into the black hole. While primordial black holes do not emit light themselves, the matter surrounding them can heat up and emit gamma rays as it is drawn into the black hole. Matter approaching a black hole accelerates and heats up due to the immense gravitational force, emitting radiation in the process. This radiation, particularly gamma rays, can be detected by specialized telescopes. Identifying sources of gamma rays in areas of the sky where Planet 9 is expected to be could provide additional clues about the nature of this object. The conformation of a primordial black hole in our solar system would have enormous implications for our understanding of the universe. First, it would provide evidence for the existence of primordial black holes, which have so far only been theoretical. This would open a new window for studying the early universe and the extreme conditions that existed shortly after the Big Bang. Primordial black holes are a prediction of some cosmological models describing the early universe. Confirming their existence would help validate these models and provide information about density fluctuations in the primordial universe. Additionally, primordial black holes could be an important part of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe's mass, but does not interact directly with light. Furthermore, the detection of a primordial black hole so close to us could revolutionize our understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system. It would force us to reconsider current models and could lead to new theories about the distribution of dark matter in the galaxy. In conclusion, the idea that the mysterious Planet 9 could be a primordial black hole the size of a bowling ball is one of the most intriguing and radical theories in modern astronomy. Although we currently have no physical proof of this hypothesis, computer simulations and gravitational evidence suggest that it is a plausible possibility worth exploring. As technology advances and we develop more sophisticated methods for observing the cosmos, we may be able to confirm or refute this fascinating theory in the not-too-distant future. Until then, the mystery of Planet Nine remains one of the great unknowns of our solar system. For those interested in delving deeper into this topic, I recommend reviewing the following resources. The original paper by Schultz and Unwin on the primordial black hole theory. This paper provides a detailed analysis of their hypothesis and the simulations they conducted to support their theory. It is essential reading for understanding the scientific basis behind this proposal. Badigan and Brown's studies on Planet Nine. These studies are fundamental for understanding why the existence of Planet Nine was originally suggested and what observational evidence supports this theory. They offer a deep insight into the orbital anomalies in the Kuiper Belt, research on primordial black holes and their formation in the early universe. There are various articles and studies exploring the theory of primordial black holes, their possible formation, and cosmological implications. These studies provide the necessary context to understand how such objects could exist and what role they might play in the evolution of the universe. Computer simulations of massive objects in the Kuiper Belt. Simulations are crucial tools in modern astronomy, and reviewing studies that use these techniques can offer a clearer understanding of how scientists model gravitational influences in the outer solar system. These readings will provide a deeper and more detailed context on one of the most fascinating and challenging mysteries in contemporary astronomy. Ongoing research and future technological advancements promise to shed more light on this enigma, bringing us closer to unraveling the secrets of Planet Nine.